guys, how are you doing? Sean Bush from Bush Outdoors. Uh, today we're just going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing of the new Marathon rubber strap that they just released today. Uh, all part of the Marathon Watch Enthusiasts. Uh, all you have to do is uh, get onto the Facebook Marathon Enthusiasts, uh, find the link where we're talking about this and uh, demonstrating it. Exclusive only for Marathon Watch Enthusiasts, whoever uh, is part of it. All they have to do is put, hit the like button, write down like down below. Uh, you'll be entered in the contest. Uh, there's one of 10 new rubber bracelets gonna be uh, issued to one of you. Uh, if one of the winners, if you win, uh, you get to choose the size that you'd like, 22, 20, or 18 millimeter. Anyways, on that note, uh, as you can see, I've got a couple boxes back here. I have them all, 18, uh, 20, and 22 millimeter. Uh, for you things and uh, basically it's uh, comes in a three-part system uh, you got you know one and you got the other one here and then the actual buckle portion uh, we're gonna take a closer look at this uh, over back here and on the actual board so you can take a look at all the details characteristics etc anyways uh, thank you very much for uh, tuning in and we'll get right into the characteristics of the new Marathon three-part system watch. Hey guys, how are you doing? Once again, Sean Bush from Bush Outdoors. Uh, basically what we're gonna be doing is going through the, uh, the uh, Marathon rubber uh, bracelet. Uh, it's a new design that they came out with. It's quite uh, unique in a lot of ways. Uh, I actually really like it, of course, I do like it because I am in love with Marathon products. So uh, basically this is the unboxing of it. I just took all the parts out uh, and we'll go from uh, right to left. Um, as you can see, you have the Marathon Genuine Parts uh, little guide, little booklet. It tells you exactly what's in it. Shows you exactly the uh, reliefs of, of inches and what to do how to switch it out, etc. So I'm gonna just leave this open for myself, okay? So inside the box, obviously we have the three-part system buckles. We actually have the, uh, the part where the buckle is, and then we have the extended portion. Um, as you can see, um, right here, it's pretty much lined up with the line here. The buckle goes through the loophole right here where it gets attached to the band and if you want the longer portion, it would be down here. So this buckle would be down at this portion here, which would extend it quite a lot. Uh, then the second portion of the, the band is uh, having the, the keeper portion. Um, the other cool part is that Marathon introduced a keeper retainer, uh, which is explained in the videos. I'm gonna just show you exactly what this. See how this keeper here, the rubber keeper, is kind of popped in place. And one of the reasons why it stays popped in place is because you have the two gnarlings on the side that will actually keep it in place. So when you wanna put it in, etc., it keeps it nice in place when the buckle is going in. So when you're trying to place the other portion in, this way, right? It's not gonna slide up and down on you. It stays in one spot. So you're always gonna have a nice looking uh, two keepers. Now, one of them will stay in place. The other one may move around, but the important thing is it stays in place so that if for whatever reason uh, it was to come loose, this keeper will just help keep it retained a little bit more and uh, you know, there's other reasons too. Uh, for example, if uh, you're out swimming, uh, diving, uh, doing some wrestling, hand-to-hand -hand combat, whatever it may be, or daily day chores, uh, by the keeper staying in place, the flap will not come accidentally loose and then fall off. Um, you know, you would actually have to really give it a good tug to get that off over top of this keepers to come out. So just to give you guys a heads up on that. 
So like I said, it has the three portions. We have the one longer, uh, comes with the standard. And then we actually have the one slightly longer. And we have the other portion that goes into these keepers here. We also have two, um, two sets of uh, lugs, uh, not lugs, um, pins. So that way that when you put them in, you can put it on the top and the piece. That way it assembles all together. You slide it in and uh, you're able to um, put it in the one and then it gives you a spare. So that way, if you need to either put it in the other one, you have an extra one, you know, if it goes a little bit wonky on you, you have a replacement for that. So basically they give you enough for all of them and you have an extra one. It's a really cool system here. Uh, like I said, it's uh, rubberized. Uh, it's not the vulcanized rubber, it's uh, actual rubber. And um, what they've done is on the inside of the, the band, they've branded it. Uh, they've said it's Swiss made. Uh, and they've also put the Marathon logo as a gnarling or a tack feel. So therefore it allows your skin to gently grab onto your skin and will, you know, stop your watch from spinning around. Uh, also, it basically tells you what kind of uh, watch band this is. You know, it's like, it's marathon, you know. Uh, the cog set uh, all over, and it's kind of like they're gnarling, except it's not a marathon, um, you know, logo. But, you know, the, it's kind of the same concept of the gnarling on the crown there really nice so basically kind of the same thing on the inside it has the gnarling so therefore it holds on to your wetsuit or your skin and it'll stay in place i do like the angular style uh system uh i personally believe right it reminds me of the cog set so you have that nice slight degree to the cog set um, which I'm going to show you. There's a slant angle here, all the way around, all the way across. Um, and I like the how it concaves in here. Uh, I do like that. But take a look at the Marathon watch. It has a slight angle, okay? So when you take a look at the watch and the band, they go hand in hand. You know what I mean? So you have that angular style. And I don't know if it's the same angle, but it sure looks pretty damn close. It's maybe slightly off, but it looks pretty close. Um, so anyways, it's a nice kit, nice piece of kit. Uh, it is, uh, you know, gone up in price uh, in, in bands. Um, but uh, it's well worth it. Uh, everywhere you go, Omega, Rolex, Tudor, all those big, big companies are pumping out their watch bands and stuff, and the prices have definitely gone up, um, even in theirs. So, um, also within today's society with COVID, everybody's getting hit with the increase of everywhere, uh, right to the food, to, you know, the stuff we love. Uh, so that, that angler back into the, uh, back over to where the angle is, it goes right into their, their new style of uh, buckle. Uh, it comes down very shape right here it has a nice angle on each corner and it is marathon uh, logo in it um, on the end there um, it is a 316l stainless steel um, you know very nice so let's say if you do like the longer version for a wetsuit uh, you do have to take out this uh take out this uh um collar and sleeve then replace it over onto the new band because it doesn't come with a buckle and um you know most watch fanatic people will definitely have the the pusher uh you'd be able to do it yourself um you know if you don't have that you can actually go into a jeweler's they'll be able to swap that out for you no problem uh I do like it. It's uh, the feel of it, the texture. Uh, it's a lot more flexible uh, than the old vanilla ones that they have. Um, but it's uh, 
you know, high speed, low drag, uh, that's going to look quite good on it. I'm not going to switch it out because, uh, but basically kind of look like that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, once again, uh, always look out to your, um, uh, marathon representatives. Uh, they'll be able to help you out, um, to get one of these and, uh, authorized dealers online. Uh, if you're in Canada, please check me out uh, on Facebook, Bush Outdoors, and check out Marathon website for all the authorized dealers. Uh, so this is basically the Marathon uh, new three-part rubber with a stainless steel 316L new rubber band that they just released. And once again, take an opportunity if you're not part of it already, join the Facebook group. Find that site where I mentioned about uh, 